Hey guys, this is Maliha and I have a really quick tutorial today um, about Canva hyperlinking. So um, I had a couple of questions about how to add links to uh, a Canva document or um, a PDF or something like that. So this is what uh, you're going to do. Um, the hyperlink function has changed a little bit and um, Hopefully you have that on your Canva account already. So this is how you're going to do it. So let's first start with a US letter document. Eventually we're going to save it as a PDF. So um, hyperlinking doesn't really work in image files like so um, no JPEG or PNG files. You're going to have to save a design as a PDF document in order for a hyperlinked um, text or whatever to work. So this is a US, doc, uh, US letter document um, and let's say that I want to add a link. So I'm going to first add a text box and let's say um, this is a link. And this is the text box and let's say that I want to make the entire text box a hyperlink. So um, when you click the text box, you will see this floating um, menu show up. Click the three dots and then click link. And then you can add a link if it's a multi-page design, you can add a link to um, a design or you can even add an external link. So for example, something like that. So enter the link and then press um, enter and that's it. It's going to be linked. And you can um, do it this way when you save it this whole text box is going to be a hyperlink. Or let's say that you don't want the entire text box to be linked to something, but you want only a section of the text to be hyperlinked. So let's do another text box. Make it big so you can see what I'm doing. And Let's just add a bunch of text and this is a link. So let's say that this is um, your paragraph and you want only this portion to be hyperlinked. So an easy way to do this is to just highlight the section and then right away you will see the link floating option appear. So that's pretty easy. Um, so just click it and then again the same way. Add your link and then hit enter and this will be a hyperlink. And typically when it's an uh, entire paragraph um, and you're only linking a section of the text and not all of the text, the text will also have an underline that kind of shows you that this is a hyperlink. If you don't want it, for example, if you want to style it in a different way, so let's say that you don't want your hyperlink text to be or your anchor text to be underlined, you can simply uh, go up here, click the underline button or li icon link, whatever, and then it will be gone. As you can see, it's gone. The hyperlink is still there. It's just the style is gone. And you can add maybe a different color to um, show that this is actually a link, just like so. And that's it. So basically, uh, if you want to, you know, add a link to the entire text box, just click the text box. Um, and right now you're, sh uh, you're seeing the link icon here because this is already a link. If it hadn't been a link, you wouldn't see this. So you would have to click the three dots and then go to click, go to, uh, the, click the link, um, option here and then add your link. And if you want to hyperlink only a specific text, 
in a large text box. Then simply highlight your text, the one, the portion that you want to be linked, and then this floating icon will show up. Then click it and then add your link, like so. Uh, Example.com, and then it will be hyperlinked, and you will see um, this underline show up. You can get rid of the underline or you can keep it and you can add um, a different color like so. And that's it. Hopefully um, that makes sense. And this is how you add a link. And remember that when you are saving the document, uh, go to share, click download, and then make sure to choose PDF. Um, it can be either PDF print or PDF standard, doesn't matter. And then save the PDF. If you save it as a JPEG or PNG or something else, you won't be seeing, the, the text won't be hyperlinked anymore because you cannot hyperlink text in, a, in an image file. So yeah, just make sure that you're saving it as a PDF. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Hopefully this was useful to you and I will see you soon in a different video. Bye.